I love this to music. Wherever and whenever you are. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the wilds of Barovia. As we are back Barovia. for our oh, echo, please, ever. We are back for our Curse of Strat campaign. Hey, Guild <laughs> Superior. I hope you had a fantastic time in uh, Greyhawk. Oh, I had a mental block for a second there, sorry. Um, okay. Wrong end of the day, but I had a very happy place to be either way. Because of all these lovely players. Look at them all. There's Krik. The Aragrocker Ranger. Vanta. The Spooky Lady. Esmeralda. The Dangerous Lady. <laughs> Asara. <laughs> the Sassy Lady. <laughs> and Zinicus. The Werewolf. Ah. Uh, you can wait for Good Boy. <laughs> The hairy, okay, the hairy good boy. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's the hairy boy, that's all yes. you can say. Who no. <laughs> needs to shift his camera away just a little bit from the, oh, the, cam from the curtain. Away. Yeah, so you're not behind your butt. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> so. Hey, Evix, thank you so much. Um, yes, that was that was very intriguing comments before. Thank you very much. That would be lovely. Um, now, let us begin. Has anyone got that emote? I don't have it. <laughs> let us begin. It's the, in the words of that beautiful, beautiful Reddit GM down there in Australia. Now, let us begin as, a, as I keep repeating myself. Is that Emma? Echo? Echo? No, it's me. <laughs> Just echoing myself. Okay, now, let us say a couple of thank yous. First, oh, speaking of, the Reddit GM can also be summoned, apparently. No sooner do I mention his name than the mimic hearts go flying. Whoa! They can't see. <laughs> out the way. Uh, uh, can't see. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dredd. Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? I hope you had a fantastic session. We are just kicking off. We just came over. And a wonderful, wonderful, a big hi. Hello, Tales of Pesh. Thank you for the follow. And yes, hey, bloody, how you doing? And who else is here? Yeah, Scrappy, hello, Scrappy. <laughs> Dear Tim, don't get me. No, just follows. Following's just fine. Just follows, are fine. No. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> is this all an escape? There is no I, escape. I, am, I, am, I promise I am in here somewhere behind all of these mimic cards. Hello. I'm gonna be down here. Ha ha. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say, the, the entire <laughs> stream is just purple <laughs> two females. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me, you can't get me. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Phew. <laughs> right. So, arr, arr, arr. I should have do a whip. <laughs> I have a sword. Yeah, so I forgot. Hey, Alex, remember, thank you for the follow. I forgot how uh, how dangerous a, uh, a dreaded raid would be with the uh, emote wall enabled. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming on by. It's so good to see you all. London Euphoria. All right, mate. How are you doing? Now, so, let us... <laughs> Let's throw down the smoke screen indeed, Sparrow. Fly away. Fly away, and we will so not see you. Oh, yes, get that sword ready. <laughs> Vanta, smite them. Defeat Vanta them does the not cards. have a sword. Oh, yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. well, how do I use this thing? Tales of Pesh, that is a fantastic <laughs> flumpy mode. That's so cool. Okay. Now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank she you, bloody. Thank you, Dread. It's so good to see you. Hope you had a great time. And, uh, hey, Mr. Birch, hello. And Larry, in real life, who are you not in real life? Hey, sorry, I, I digress and get distracted by all of you lovely, lovely people. In cruel order, G. All right, that's how he's doing the chat. That's that. And sunrise too. Wow, everyone's here. Okay. See, orangey, I get flustered too. <laughs> I was, I was enjoying flustering you with a raid or two, but it also comes back around, does it not? All right, let us get started. Now that the mimic hearts have settled down, and we can... Oh, there they come again! Dread! <laughs> and as we find our way back through the mists into Barovia, so wonderful to have all you people here. And... A big thank you to Dreaded GM, our fantastic friend. Our first raid ever on this channel in a Curse of Strahd game, as we are back here. Um, a little less produced than we are these days, um, but it was lovely to see you then and lovely to see you now. And a massive thank you also to fellow Australians, Sirenscape, for the sound effects and music and the platform and the ability to get it into all of your ears, as we love to do and set the mood as such a wonderful tool. Try them out. There are ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
sunsets that you can try for free and when you think oh I need more of this you can become a super siren and try out all of their hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and constantly producing new stuff all the time so please um, jump on over and give them a try and if you want to get the full lot do enjoy that to its fullest be your tabletops real or uh, virtual it is all you want for your music and sound effects now also a massive speaking of music and sound effects a massive thanks and shout outs to Dark Fantasy Studio and the two YouTube channels, RPG music maker Travis Savoy with his fantastic moustache and epic journey as well. Wonderful sources of music for your games. And on Patreon as well, the fantastic Will Savino. That one is a paid one, but he churns out a lot of great stuff and it's well worth it. Now, as we enjoy this, and Dread, I wanted you to see this because you kind of inspired me and a huge thanks, oh, thanks for the bits, thank you so much. A huge thanks once more to Patch of Quest Junkies UK in the chat there, as he produced this wonderful first time for us here on Phoenix Uwaki, our opening, our opening stream, our opening reel. So everyone enjoy once more as we get set to return to Barovia and Curse of Strat. Enjoy! so good <laughs> thank you patch question is uk everyone in <laughs> chat go and give them a follow as well it is so so wonderful james's rpg art for those amazing animated backdrops of barovia and many other locations too and also as i spent as i mentioned um over on um youtube travis savoy for that incredible music there's that, let us begin. I wondered where that was. <laughs> okay, so let us refresh our memories into what was going on last time as I bring things down a little here. Now, last time we were here in Barovia, we were down in the catacombs of Castle Ravenloft as our adventurers rushed having retrieved the antidote to the poisoned Ayamaris, as you know him, Van Richten. Xenicus here, his mentor and tutor, as well as Esmeralda before, of course, as the module um, is true to. And having received, retrieved the antidote, they were rushing through, well, hmm, I say rushing, they, they got distracted by all of the interesting tombs down in the catacombs and they got uh, slightly uh, sidelined as they were exploring all the various bits and bobs that were on offer to explore down there. They found a couple of interesting items, including an amulet that seemed to belong to the faith of the Morning Lord, but came with a ghostly message suggesting <clears throat> that it be taken to the village of Kresk, where there's a grave with roses that never die and this amulet would reveal the location of a great treasure. Where could that be? This fabled village of Kresk they've heard so much about, but have not managed to make their way over that far west just yet. Also, in another of the tombs of the chambers, you found the tomb of Saint Markovia, dead forever apparently, but with one key remaining item as her bejeweled, <laughs> pimped out thigh bone 
was still <laughs> remaining, and <laughs> the ghostly apparition of Saint Markovia bade you take up her thigh bone and use it in the defense of the Vale of Barovia. Now, isn't it amazing, J. Marie? It's all good, so good, so good. Now, as you continued to make your way through the catacombs, you found a larger thoroughfare, a larger corridor, still with the mist draped across the floor as you carefully made your way across the slippery surface of all that bat guano that is coating the entire surface of this layer, and you found a larger, much more ornate tomb, although blocked from you by some kind of curtain of force, but you discovered what was inside without even having to make your way down because Vanta, Lady Vanta Blackspire, has in her little box of relics several relics that are tied to souls the Raven Queen allowed her to consort with and to gain advice and guidance from. And she brought them with, the, with her all the way from the Spine of the World Mountains from her temple high up in the peaks and found out once she'd arrived here that two of those souls were Strahd's parents. Don't think she's forgotten. She's going through some character shit right now. King Barov and Queen Ravnovia along for the journey. Thankfully, still unknown to the Count himself. Thank you so much, Dread. Have a fantastic night. And I shall see you soon, sir. Yes, keep those necks covered. Right now. As I was Wait saying. For me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doomed, Meryn. Doomed! Uh -oh. Hey, Geeks, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. It's very, very appreciated. Now, everyone. You found out that the spirits of the king and queen were somewhat perturbed to be brought so close to their immortal remains, but the rest of you were quickly distracted and made to look elsewhere as you discovered another tomb. One with your friend Krig's name up there, that fella over there. As you pried it open, you found the mouldering remains of an Arakrokra, but on trying to investigate and medically examine what had happened, it dissolved and flowed away in a rather sticky mess across the floor of the tomb. The name also fading from the rock on the outside, and as that happened, the laughter of Count Strad von Zarevich echoed through the halls as he seemed to be observing your progress, observing your plight as you make your way through this maze and mental ordeal that is his castle. On the way out, you are also perturbed to see that he has already seemingly prepared a tomb for Irina Koliana, the daughter of the old burgomaster of the poor village of Barovia. The girl that he has his eyes on, that he has his sights set on, for some reason, although you think he may have an idea, as you found down in the swamps of Berez, in the tomb and the graveyard there, a statue that looked exactly like Irina, eerily similar, and the story of the girl whose tomb it was also seemed connected with Strad, so there is a connection there. Now, you finally managed to find your way to the stairs and winding up, spiraling round and gaining higher and higher back up to the main level, you exited out into a large chapel populated much as we are today with a raid of wonderful people, ghostly, ethereal forms sitting, watching all that was going on, and you made your way quickly through this chapel, trying to find out what kind of domination it was, but not being able to see, but as you exited, you looked back and saw a bronze sun embossed up above the doors, and realized this too must have been a sight of the Morning Lords, and quickly dashing along a corridor 
rather suspiciously lined with suits of armor, but nothing happened in the end. It was all good. You found your, you finally found yourselves back in the main entranceway and quickly rushed to the dining room where Iamaris was choking to death on the long dining table. But that was not his biggest problem as you found Count Strad von Zarevich himself hunched over, biting his neck. And as he came up and wiped his lip of the blood of your mentor, he bid you farewell and told you in no short terms to get out of his home. And as he did so, scuttling across the walls, down from the ceilings, in through the broken windows, vampire spawn came charging and flowing in like a tidal wave, and you quickly ran from the castle across the drawbridge, even as it started to raise up, and finally, you made it to the gatehouse on the other side, with the vampire spawn still hot on your heels, but heels. Vanta, Lady Vanta Backspire, turned and clasping her amulet of raven kind, spent some of its charges and let forth an explosion of sunlight, which drove back the majority of these creatures. But two of them. It's so bright. <laughs> it actually. It's. it's there it is. Big, big. <laughs> two of them that were leaping from the raising drawbridge, fangs bared, claws ready to tear you to pieces, were decimated and disintegrated by the sunlight as the others fled and scuttled back into the shadows of Castle Ravenloft. Now, as they are rushing for safety, trying desperately to get out of the way, out of this sunlight, we see in the main courtyard of the castle, outside the main doors which you first entered, Strad Bonzarevich, standing there, hissing and looking disappointed in their pathetic attempts to attack you. And standing at his side is a figure. A figure that in your rush you had forgotten at the end of last week's session as Emil Toranescu. <laughs> <laughs> dark hair we did forget him. sodden and lying close over his olive skin stands looking out across the raised drawbridge the, ra the rising drawbridge and Strad looks at him well Emil I think you've learnt your lesson you do not need to spend any more time in my oh, dungeons. No. Is this behind us? And Emil turns and looks up at Strad. Even in a large man that he is, Strad still rises up and towers above him. Yes, Lord Strad. There will be no more infighting amongst us in the werewolf den. Very well. And you know, a pack that hunts together stays together, wouldn't you say? I think you should gather a few of your little friends and make sure that our uninvited guests... Sorry, they were invited, that's not fair. Our... <laughs> <laughs> our <laughs> no, no, our invited guests! Get the fuck out of here! Shut up! <laughs> make sure our guests get home safely! There you go. Bye, curfew! Make sure <laughs> our dinner guests have an interesting journey home. And Emil bows. Yes, Lord Strat. Emil. And he turns, and his back arches, and his chin and jaw start to elongate forward, and his body bulges and stretches, growing up larger even than Strad, larger than Xenicus when he changes, larger than Iamaris, and you see that white fur explodes from his clothing as he falls down onto all fours, 
and raises back his head and howls to the sky above. Uh, just a moment, please. I think I have something for this. <laughs> Fanta's just like, oh, how could you do this after all the lovely, kind things we've said to you? <laughs> you are useless, forgets you, <laughs> runs away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's his fault for not keeping up. We were clearly told to leave quickly, and we were dragging a body, and we still beat Thanks, him out here. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. -up. That's true. Okay, so Emil just that's reaches true. up to the sky above and lets out mm -hmm. a long, roaring howl, which is quickly answered in the forests oh. ahead of you. Then and he turns really hard not to join in. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. <laughs> he turns to Strad. Do not worry, Lord Strad. We shall hunt them down, and they shall fall beneath our jaws. And with that, he turns, and with a loping stride, gathering speed faster and faster, he goes charging across the drawbridge up the slant of the rising wooden platform, leaping across the widening gap and landing with a thud and snarling at your retreating forms as you are rushing down the road to the wagons and Maxine, who you had left back where you met the black carriage. So, over to you, dear players. I have talked long enough. John? Yes. The sunlight lasts for 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so we're just like, this is what it looks like. It's like dark everywhere, and then there's just like blob of light which just moves so Strad can like look at us like a map. Yes, Strad, Strad changes into a bat and flies up to watch the goings on. And you just get this like 100 foot up view of this, this broad lights just going, just like bobbing through the trees. Occasionally hitting trees and stuff like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do any of you are you any of you looking watching over your shoulder or are you just running? Just uh, well, running. Just, yeah. And dragging. Yeah. And Looking dragging to be concerned about something. <laughs> Imars has come uh, to consciousness and he's he's okay. he's running with you. Yes. Well, then then we are Burton running. We are yep. Run, 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 run. Okay. Uh are we trying to do anything stealth? <laughs> Why did I even ask no, that? For a blob of light. No. Even a nat twenty couldn't hide us from this. <laughs> well, just full speed, I would say, just running. Even Asara's not bothering with it. Sweet. I'm following okay. you. I don't know where the wagons are, so I just hope they run in the right direction. <laughs> okay, we go. Your flight is accompanied by a chorus. Uh of howls. Wait, what are the horses' names? This way and that, all around oh, the woods. Wait, does boy mama my bracelet? Hmm? Doesn't no. work for werewolves, never mind. <laughs> Damn it. Um, Damn it. But no, that's a good question because, um, <laughs> right, geeks? Um, no, um, as you're running, your bracelet does indeed turn fleshy. We've got company, guys. Let's go. <laughs> yes. I'm so... Hey, tell me how you do. <laughs> um, yes. So you're just and you... and just leaving us all to die. <laughs> okay, you go dashing now. This is quite a jog, because I'm afraid all of you, yeah, you, know, you just ride in this black carriage up to the gates of Castle Ravenloft for quite some time before, uh, after leaving your wagons behind. So, you're just hoofing it down here. Um, can everyone give me an easy constitution saving throw, please? Why would you call it? <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> why would you call? Why would you say that? <laughs> Five, four plus one, sixteen. Okay, nineteen. Twenty-one. Wait, still. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting revenge on last time. But I just did not at all. <laughs> I need to think of a catchphrase for when this thing turns fleshy and gross. <laughs> um. One day when the tongue is done. Sit. <laughs> start screaming. <clears throat> Salara! Okay, so. I'm thinking about it. 
What if you are exhausted and you know not not mechanically <laughs> speaking, but you um what you're, I say? You're, you're, Emotionally. The air is starting to burn in your lungs as the mist itself seems to flow into your mouth with every gasped breath as you're running the puddles of water splashing up ruining your okay evening clothes and <laughs> and as you look back at the particularly your loud <laughs> the particularly loud <laughs> howl yeah, behind your clothes. you <laughs> who who looks back <laughs> I think it? if it was a howl, Zedekus would be the one to look back. Okay, Zedekus, you look back, back, and you get the first sight of that giant white wolf, much larger than any werewolf you've ever seen, or any wolf. Or you didn't see the change, so you're not, you don't know that it's a meal. But um, mm. yes, but you do hear a voice. You can run, but you will never escape. The pack comes for you. Like, is he is just by a quick glance, does he look like he's gonna catch us before we get where we're going? He is loping along in a very cocky way. <laughs> so he's just like making sure that he sets us so he herds us per perfectly into the trap. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> now, Zenicus, can you talk in wolf form? I can. I can, yes. It specifically in... says it on my character sheet that I can. In full wolf, wolf form, not hybrid? I don't have a full wolf form. Oh, you don't. Have, okay. Have he. This is a. This is a full wolf, and it, it is talking. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. This One is an actual you? wolf. Wolf. <laughs> yes. Like a giant Fenrir wolf style. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's weird. <sighs> so, John, what was the outcome of the con save? Um, everyone was okay. Vanta only got five. No, it's uh, like I said, very easy. Vanta got. <laughs> beats it. Beats it. Like if it had been a critical critical <laughs> failure or down that end, you would have been okay. Okay, yeah. sweet. I'm into just, it. Run! Yes, you just get. You, know, just, you just, just have dinner. You're okay. And but there would have been enough time for the food to settle. Oh yeah, I'm fine and fit. I had something from every food group. It was a balanced meal. <laughs> Strongest member of the party. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, so yeah, the the, the blood group, the the all the food groups, blood, 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 and blood. <laughs> No, you weren't drinking oh, from the same bottle, remember? It's okay. <laughs> now, you um, managed to just, you know, again, you just feel that, you know, that horrible burning sensation, like, you know, like morning runs in the winter. And um, you finally, uh. finally see the junction ahead. And you see a faint green glow as, at this point, I'm afraid, Vanta, your the amulet has died down and darkness has surrounded gotcha. all of you. And you see a faint green glow ahead, as you know, Esmeralda's ethereal horses are still standing in the um, in the wagon um, in and front of the wagon. And not tired, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. And so this funky and chunky. Yeah, we renamed your horses, so. <laughs> He's not looking at you, so he doesn't react, actually. Um, funky and chunky. Yeah, actually, as you're getting nearer to the horses, Esmeralda, there's a there's a, a fallen branch from the nearby trees in the path, but I mean it's right there, and everyone else, like whoever's in the front of the group, jumps over it. Esmeralda runs right into it and falls flat on her face in the road. What do you say, Esmeralda? Ah! <laughs> what? Accurate. Uh -huh. Um. I mean, yeah. What um? How tall is Esmeralda? Has fallen. Like, <laughs> I'm sure there's not room to fly between the trees. <clears throat> um, I think Prig, probably being the lightest of all of them, would have like all of them kind of used his wings to like break. Kind of used his wings to like break and uh. Like, uh, spun around to get Esmeralda back up. <laughs> like when you open up a parachute to slow down. Exactly. Like open up slow down. exactly. That's pretty cool, actually. I enjoy. Okay, so, Esmeralda, explain what's going on for Krieg, as he's come to rush to your aid. Esmeralda doesn't actually see you coming, or she seems not to actually hear you coming either. She's on the ground, she's staring at the ground. 
Yeah, and you can see she's kind of. Oh, there's an echo. Sorry. Oh, there's an echo. Sorry. I wonder where it comes from. I think we're good. She is looking very upset and confused about something. You can see that as she's sort of looking at her hand, like she's trying to do this quickly, she realizes that she, you can see this, like, she's kind of holding it up to her ear. And you hear a little owl sound coming out of her ear. And she, like, she's casting Pester Digitation, basically. And she's holding it to her ear. And, and you suddenly realize. Oh, sorry, there's suddenly more echo. <laughs> she may not be able to hear you. Like, uh, like for the time, like noticing that, like everything stops and Ickes have turned around and is looking at them, waiting to see, like, come on. She's getting up. She's starting to run towards yeah. you again, but you can tell yeah. there's something very, very wrong. <laughs> very wrong. Uh, Craig definitely would have like still helped her to like stand up in any way he could, and like she sees you do that. If you don't like grab her from the shoulder and pull her back, because if you do that, she'll try and attack you. <laughs> 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 um, but if she sees you sort of standing your wing, she will gladly take your offer. Um, and, then, and she'll look at you and tell like, you, basically, I, I can't hear what you're saying. Um, she can still speak to you, it's no problem. And she seems to be able, she's looking straight at you, seeing what you're going to say. She's looking very carefully to watch your mouth. You respond. <laughs> um, <sweet. laughs> well, Craig, yeah, Craig doesn't really have lip, so lip reading. I don't yeah. think there's no lip reading, Craig. Yeah. So, be be reading yeah, is a different yeah. feat, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Yeah. Just gonna gesture. Uh, just like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So she's like, okay, there's no point. I can't read your beak. I'm sorry, but I can get this. Let's go. I can go. read lips. <laughs> That's not relevant, but I can. <laughs> I can get through this. <laughs> oh, for me. Okay. So no. I definitely thought you said I can eat grits. Anyway, John, <laughs> no, let's awful. do that. Um, so you keep. Running no and Craig, having s you've realized that Esmeralda seems to be deafened for some reason by something, but you you, you help her up and, and again you'll start rushing. And unfortunately, Esmeralda, you do not hear a familiar I voice. No idea. Quickly, my friends, Vite, Vite, this way, this way! As you see, Maxine pouring, you know, eagerly at the ground at the sound of all these wolves around you. Everyone, quick, in the wagons! And um, I have. I my shout kids. out Dravish and Alvesh. <laughs> Real quick. It will also be sure gesturing wildly to go under the wagon and not through yeah. the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Please don't blow up my wagon on the way in. I need. In a rush, we just open the door. Oh. Had a change of clothing for it's me. It's like that scene from Big Hero 6 where you just like. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, now, bear with me with my. Roll 20 is trying to I'm catch up. We don't all just rush inside and like someone forgets to actually drive the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm not a good choice to drive right now, but they'll listen to you, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now we have... We have two wagons. There is Esmeralda's wagon and Ayamaris's wagon. Who is jumping in which... Please, I'll move your tokens. Amaris's. <laughs> tokens, tokens. Craig would have jumped up top on Esmeralda's. Where is Vant? One, two, three, four. Vant will sit in um, the back corner so that she can heal people, get to anyone who needs healing. Okay. Then like, realized that he's really good melee. Place. And melee's not going to be much use here, he'll take the reins and hope that the people with ranged attacks can keep things off. Oh um, yeah, you know what? I would get in the back. Yeah, John, I'm in my wagon. Does that mean I have access to the stuff in my wagon? Um, it's funny. <laughs> yes, Patch. It's funny, actually. Um, are you, well, I mean, are you going to go into the interior of the wagon? Or just onto the. Things in there, I'd like to get out. I'm still only wearing a dress, and I have a bone and a, and a short sword. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a magnificent thigh bone. <laughs> but it isn't thigh bone, but it is still a thigh bone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you. <laughs> I mean, you think you know these, these werewolves come running? It could be quite useful. He's like fetch, <laughs> throw it. <laughs> um, Zenicus disappears. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. Right, like oh. <laughs> 
um, as you um, are, um, yes, you you open up your wagon in the way that only you know how, and well, you thought only you knew how, but there's something new, or rather, something returned, as on the floor of your wagon there is a neat little bundle. I think it's there. And mm. open it. I don't. Yep. I have the deck of cards. <laughs> I will murder it. <laughs> I will look at it. Okay. Um, as you yeah, you go down and you un unwrap it. It is all of your things. Uh, <laughs> I was terrified. I have to spend the next like month not be able to hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say thank you to Strahd, but thank you to whatever powers that be. <laughs> Let this be the case. I seize my cards and everything else. Oh, thank God. Creek, <laughs> if I, if, I mean, if you'll excuse me, Yeagering, your um, character for a second. Um, I do kind of get an image that you, you quickly look back and say, are we ready to go? And you just see Esmeralda just tearing off her dress. You go, oh, shit. <laughs> so look away. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 wait. <laughs> Throw up a wink. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fanta just summons a, a, a corn of, a, like, a cone of ravens to, like, sur <laughs> like surround you. And it's kind oh, of, raven it's a nice there. gesture and, and somewhat eldritch at the same time. Nice. Nice Is that hey. your new spell, corn of ravens? <laughs> corn of ravens. Thank God, thank God. <laughs> Krig and Xenicus, you um Xenicus, you don't have to say anything. Maxine immediately takes off galloping down the road. Now, um she's like, Which way, my friend? Best <laughs> Try to remember. Yes. <laughs> the choices are north or south. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember which way we came in. <laughs> Back the way we came! Just get us out of here! <laughs> North it is then! <laughs> and she goes, Let's go, let's go, let's go! Away and as lurch as Iamars' wagon gets pulled behind her, and she's galloping down the road, the trees whooshing past, the tendrils of mist streaming past behind, and you hear the sound of hot pursuit as that giant white wolf. Seeing, hey, but seeing that you have um, picked up speed, also does himself and starts loping faster and faster. And as he comes running behind you, he is joined from out of the trees by two dire wolves and two other wolves. But there's something in the way that they're running, Xenicus. You can tell that these two, the smaller ones, are in fact werewolves in their wolf forms and they all fall in and make haste in chasing behind you and asara they are gaining on the wagons they are faster than the horses i'm pulling out arrows i'm shooting people <laughs> not people i'm shooting dogs <laughs> hello my little hand Oop. crossbow hello. it's not gonna be that good but that'll be better than nothing I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna ask Esmeralda. Like, I'm gonna be like, Esmeralda, you need to wait. She can't hear me. Well, I don't she know. She can't hear I, you now. She, she, she somehow now. picked up that patch and suddenly she's back to herself. <laughs> she's looking extremely relieved and slightly confused. <laughs> Actually, sorry, Esmeralda. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you out of the first round. It's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm I, getting I, changed. I'll give you your toys, but I will take I'm you away for a second. Things. <laughs> That's completely okay. Um, <laughs> um, but do I actually have access to the stuff in my wagon, though? Is the question I wanted to pursue. Yep. Hey. Wow. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Are we attempting? To, can I just clarify? It? We're attempting to outrun these things, or does Vanta see them being killed or a shot at by Asara? We're gonna have to shoot at them. Yeah, I'm we, gonna, well, I'm gonna shoot, shoot at them, but I think initiative is coming. So I I'm think waiting. so. Yes, we need to get that sorted, don't we? Okay. So, dear players, let us get our initiative in order. I'm going to use my 
pink rose quartz dice, which was a pr great present. Not giddy. It gave me a really bad initiative, oh, but I like that. I like that it was a thoughtful oh, gift. Sounds like we all did. I got a twenty-three. I got three. <laughs> Healer's initiative. It's great. I got a three as well, but so I got anyway. a plus five, so it was fine. Okay. I got two on the dice. Plus one. Oh, and I've got a little yellow square around me. Oh, and there's more than one cart! Yes. I didn't scroll that far. I'm zoomed in far too much. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, you can John, move I'm so sorry. I actually zoomed in. Yeah, I you wanted to be on the back, the back yeah, of I, this I heard, cart. Yeah, I heard that, so that's fine. Yeah. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, I did not notice. I have the left sure? <laughs> Oh no. I am Aris, your mentor yeah, is with you. Aris is there and, and he's, he's like, oh, yeah, he's like drive boy, out. drive! <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure it's a cute I little cut right scene. Because he's just recently <laughs> that I saw, so thanks for that, guys. Thanks. Cute little cutscene. Of me Best driving a horse in court and then him just attacking me from being bitten by a vampire. That classic fantasy trope. Exactly. <laughs> My favourite fantasy trope is abandoning your werewolf friend with his recently captured and freed a uh, mentor as you're chased by wolves. It happens way specific. too often, that. Very specific. I know, right? Game of Thrones was the one that really overdid it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, Asara, before you can get off any arrows, I'm afraid, as these um, furry bundles, just just projectile forms, just come barreling out of the trees, swinging, splashing through the puddles on the road. The two werewolves catch up and they're charging towards the back of the wagon, and both of them leap. And as they do so, in mid-air, you see them rise up, and their form starts to shift and change. And in mid-air, they change into their hybrid forms, and thum, thum, they land on the back, and you are confronted with two Xenicuses, your worst nightmare. <laughs> oh god. You can stop. <laughs> Everyone would love that. <laughs> and rawr. As these two leap onto the back of the wagon, and there's a, there's a you know, physical trig, you feel the wagon um, you know, jolt and like, kind of tip back as these very heavy forms crunch onto the back of the wagon and rise up, you know, howling for their brethren to join in the hunt. And um, let me just double check. I think, yeah, unfortunately, the changing action is the action, so they cannot they cannot do anything else. So good, lucky for you. <laughs> but they are there in your face. And... Let's whack him. Oh, sorry, your turn. I am frantically reading because I fully intended to fletch an arrow, and that is not what is going to happen now. Um, I am going to go ahead and. Uh, stab this guy. Which guy? That guy. With a okay. dagger, and I'm also gonna cast Steady Aim for my next turn. Oh, okay, look. So that's gonna be. Ooh, 21 to hit. That'll hit. And it will be. 8. Piercing damage. All right. Now, what kind of weapon is this? Say one more time. Oh no. Not kind silvered. Of... Is it silvered or not? Very specific question. I have a silver dagger. It is silver. Damn it. You did. Yes. <laughs> I had a silver dagger. I remember because okay. I wanted the arrows, but Quig took the arrows. I took the dagger. <laughs> so, what was the damage again? <laughs> It was eight piercing. Eight, okay. So as you quickly lash out with this blade of silver, it glints in the light of the torches on the wagon and cuts into the werewolf's chest. And it, it looks confident. It's kind of like snarling in almost a, a smug way. As it feels the bite of silver, it howls in pain and it does full damage. Oh, yo, okay. I have Yay. to look at um, Indeed. So I'm going to take my other non-silver dagger. Stibbity stab, the same dude. Go for it. I'm gonna zoom in for chat. Stibbity so stab. Nice into the action <laughs> with everybody. Rawr. 
I will move to chat around so you can see who's doing what. Don't worry, everyone. 16 to hit. Um, that hits. And 8 piercing damage, but this is with the non-silver no. dagger. That's 8 on the dice. It's just the straight dice roll on the second attack. Yeah, oh, it is 3 on the dice. Okay, thank you. So yes, a, a, a little nick. He, 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 he snickers at that one. <laughs> and that is everything? Yes, for this All oh, right, okay. So yes, as the um, as the wagon is going bumping and you know jostling away um, through this uh, rough road across these cobblestones, um, you remember this this section of the road was a bit nicer than the other ones, um, leading up to the castle. But as that happens, the giant white wolf comes charging past, and let's see here, um, to there, comes running up next to the wagon. But does not run towards the wagon. It's flanking around the side of it, it seems. And will then dash up here. And <laughs> it kind of snaps at the heels of your horses, um, Esmeralda, but they don't care. <laughs> They're just like, la 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 la. The principal. <laughs> Still offended on their he, behalf. He looks, <laughs> he looks disappointed that they didn't panic and like run off into the <laughs> forest alone, as he had hoped. No. But that's all that he can do, and Rictavio's turn. Um, okay, I think Rictavio's is like, what do you say, boy? Fire with fire. And he turns, and he's... <laughs> and he, also being an Order of the Lycan Blood Hunter, thank you for that follow, does not say that, um, as he <laughs> swirls up. And he beautiful, cry. <laughs> also becomes this. <laughs> Thank you for the follow! He howls <laughs> to the clouds above as lightning flashes across the sky. And he swells up into his hybrid form and braces himself, ready for this giant wolf that's bearing down on this lead carriage. And. Creek, your turn. Very good. Okay. Um... Good, Xenicus. My my crappy initiative kind of ruined what I wanted to do, um, but uh, I think I'm gonna try it anyway. Um, so Brig is going to kind of turn around, like just kind of turn his neck. He doesn't quite get owl range, but uh, he can <laughs> see behind the the heart. Uh, and he's gonna cast web. Uh, he's gonna try to get like this kind of. It's a twenty foot cube. I'm afraid you cannot get visuals on the ones behind because this is a barrel top wagon and you are sat on the front plate. Ah, okay. Um. Although that said, are the horses self-driving? Yeah, so, so I think I think these horses in particular don't need much. Actually, and we've Neither got does Maxine either. <laughs> yeah, Maxine either as well. Yeah, so yeah, you don't actually have to do much too much with the uh, driving of these things. Very good. Okay, um, that makes you guys me... have got this. Oh. <laughs> um, so in that case, uh, give it to me, my friend. Take a few shots at our our flanking friend here. And I do have... How many silvered arrows do I have left? I have... 11 left. Alright. So you scramble up on top? Uh, yeah. So he's gonna move... Over to here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take the first shot. And that is a crit! <gasps> Shit. Hey. Hey. Oh, yes! Yes! Uh, wait, wait, wait. I have a new emote. <laughs> Not oh, really? Oh, I want to see. I want to yes. see. I want to see. I want to see. Yes. Yay. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to unlock it. Not 20. Hey, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> it's, tier, it's tier one. It should be okay. I have so many dream pies. <laughs> I don't, sorry, I need to sort that out. Excuse me. And wait, I'm saving up. I'm just... I got 11,600 what? 11, <laughs> 11, wow. dream pies. <laughs> Seneca is sorted for life. <laughs> okay. I have 5.8k. So, many more. Come on in, sir. Who are you shooting at? 
Um, Again, sorry? The, the big guy in front, yeah. The, the big guy, uh, the big white wolf, okay. Yeah, um, so that's going to be... Where did it go? Alright. It was 8 and 3. Um, <laughs> so 8 plus 3, so that's 12. 12 piercing. Okay. Um, and then we're going to... Let's see, I have favored foe. So when I hit a creature with my attack, I can mark it as a favored enemy for one minute. Okay. Um, which gives me a d6. And we're also going to use the swarm on the first hit. So oh, that's yeah, I forgot, but yeah, ridiculous. Six. So good. That was almost max damage. So a total of 22. Jeez, that's okay. So, yes, this glint of silver flashes from your bow with a comet-like tail of bugs, ethereal bugs streaming behind it. And as it hits home, they all swarm and burrow down in its fur, and it just howls and starts, tries to bite the arrow out um, and, uh, and looks back at you angrily. Okay. And my second shot... Uh, 17. I definitely thought that 7 nice. was a 1. I was like, we're getting both ends of the oh. <laughs> That hits. Very good. Okay, this one's just a straight hit, so... I have a nat uh, 1 emote made, but I don't have a slot for it yet. Uh, <laughs> I will. I will. Someday. Someday. Yeah, we're, not, we're almost there. I mean, there's been a lot of followers recently, so fingers crossed. Uh, okay, so that Yay. is 8 plus favored foe. Okay, 11 more damage. Oof. I'm down to 9 silver arrows. Yes, keep track of that closely, please. I'm sorry, what was the damage again there? Another 11. Thank so a total you. of 33. Wow. Oosh. This is still at level 6, but not that that high level. <laughs> <laughs> Just Craig the, Craig the Invincible. Oh, fourth culture in the house. Oh, Hello. Craig the Invincible. I like that. There's something magical about that. <laughs> oh, sure. He's a magical person. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. Really me. <laughs> and sorry, I'm trying to type things. Everything is freaking out. Yeah, I think someone just fell over upstairs. I know. <laughs> Big fright. <laughs> <laughs> Oop. Hope oh, they're okay. <laughs> All right, so. Yes, as you um, unleash these arrows and cause this grievous damage to the large pack leader, he snarls angrily and is um, grievously hurt by that. And Zinnikus, your turn, sir. Uh, from my angle, I'm, I won't see the white one. But what I'm going to do is that little hand crossbow that I pulled out, I am going to first stab myself with it in the leg. Okay. Oh, right, you're a blood hunter. I'm a blood hunter. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, not fun, guys. I do this for fun. Like, <laughs> uh, stab myself with it and then turn around and I'll make a shot at the this guy uh, here. So okay. I feel like if I just turn around and leave that out, I can pull this. Oh, yeah. That's a good friend. But first, I did that damage to myself. Oh, that's not great. That's four. Four and a d6 was not nice. Okay. But, okay, let's make the shot. Now, actually, I'll need to know if I'm rolling at disadvantage or not. Yeah, I am. Ugh. You're good. You got this. It's within the max, it's within the max range, but it is over the normal range. You got well, this. Got an you 18 chose this. on the first and... die. A 1 on the second oh, die. Oh, I'm afraid the bolt goes disappearing off into the trees. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? But it was all it was filled with lightning that bolt, so it was cool looking. Nice, it looks really good, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it looks really good as it goes off in the distance and does nothing. Um, he turns around and <laughs> pretends to like work hard at um, getting ready to go, but knowing he's actually doing nothing. Just because <laughs> that, that's all he can do. Gotcha. Okay. The dire wolves come rushing in, flank the side of the wagon here and here. And one will go for Krieg, and one will go for Vanta. Ah! Oh, let's scratch the paint! <laughs> Gold leaf, damn it! Um, nat <laughs> natural one, Lady Vanta. <laughs> Good news. Ha! And the one for Krieg. Only an natural eight. Natural one. 
Yay! Close enough! A one and a three. That was awful. Um. Oh! Sorry, Lady Vanta. Pack, pack tactics with the werewolves there on the thing as well. Ah. So, the one on you got a 24. Creek, the one on you got two Aha! Eights, So, you're okay. <laughs> Aha! It hits me! Yes, so that is 11 piercing damage, Vanta. And I need a strength, strength saving throw, please. That's why I'm real super strong and that- <laughs> Three. Five. Five? Okay. So this, this dire wolf comes loping up beside- Hey, do grow? Um, comes loping up beside the wagon and snarling just leaps up and slashes at you. Um, tries to bite you and knocks you backwards. Um, <laughs> a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, lovely. Nice. Nice. You roll and- Yay. I'm going to say, with a natural 20, you do not even end up prone. You roll back and back up onto your feet. <laughs> there it is, thank you. Oh, she's shit! Like... <laughs> she's doing some parkour! I love that. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you... <laughs> okay, she's got and moves. you're back, back on your feet as this thing um, does not manage to knock you over. And... Um, thank you. It is your turn. Okay, now I need to just check that I'm allowed to do this. Um, so Krieg gave me a funny mace. And I, I want to see what this mace do. Um, Esmeralda, sorry, what was your what was your? Crick, um, Crick did initiative? not. Zenicus did. Zenicus, I'm sorry. I just thought because because magical items. Zenicus gave me a really cool mace, and I look over and I like, show it. I give a show of appreciation to Zenicus by not saying something creepy. Right. And then um, I'm going to test out this mace, see what it do. So I have a mace. Which, whack. which mace was that? Uh, not the thigh bone. <laughs> not the thigh bone sounds like the name of an indie band, but yes. The one from the, the kind of chapel. No. Two seconds. Chapel. Please. Chapel mace. Please hold. It's alright. The scepter. <laughs> chapel mace. Is that like stuff that you've got to get rid of weird people at the church? Spray them with it. <laughs> <laughs> I love mate. that. That's what we need. We need more of that. Well, these, these, are, these, are really bad, these are bad dogs, so you just need water bottles. It's like, nope, down, down. Squishy spray. Yeah. Um, alright. Okay, I'm afraid, um, Lady Venta, you, you feel this mace drawn to you in some way, and it just, just seem to be trying to attune to you, but has not been attuned with yet, as you have not uh, had the time to do that. Um, so at the moment, it's a mace. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. So it functions like a mace, and I'm yes. going to whack the guy that bit me. Okay. Or scratched me. It looks 18 I mean, plus, amazing. I don't know how, I don't have the mace oh, stats. <laughs> I don't... Sweet. I don't have there. the mace stats at the moment. Can so, someone... Yeah. Sorry, my, my computer is struggling with everything going on. Can someone um, quickly add that to their equipment and see what it does? I can... What is it called? I don't know what the mace is mace? called. Uh, I'll be Fletcher Shred. Mace, yeah. um, for the mace nice. Windu. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you're a mace cleric, mace de a cleric weapon, so... Because that's like this stereotypical mace. So, then it would be for my mace. It would be plus five, because it's strength plus proficiency. So, it's 23. Yeah. And it's a d6 plus your, uh, your strength for the damage. Four points of damage with the mace. Thank you. Is it friend? versatile? If it's two-handed, it's plus two. Is it versatile? Because if it's two-handed, I could get a d8 maybe instead. Uh, or there's that. Normal mace not. doesn't seem to see no. it, so I don't. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, so it's, that's all. Band is going to do that. Um, I don't think she has any bonus actions that she wants to use right now. Let me just check. Uh, does anybody look particularly sorry, in pain? Or hurt? I, mean, I do. Really I do. Well. Half well. Good. Okay. Um. All right. If nobody looks like they're on death door, instead of healing anyone, she is going to use a long. No, not a long rest. Is going to use a harness <laughs> divine <laughs> power. Fall <laughs> 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 Sorry, Sorry, I read man. the wrong bit. The dive knocks divine. you backwards. You rolled over, back up to your feet, and then down again and slipped. <laughs> No. So yeah, she grabs her pretend this is a mace, whacks it, and then. Lady um, Vanta, Lady Vanta. Harness. 
Lady Venter, Lady Venter. I think I think you really should see this before we continue this. Uh oh. What it looks like? <laughs> oh wow, that base looks lovely. Where is the base? Is it on roll twenty? Yes. Oh my god. That is very banter. What? Banter is in love. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it is very Lincoln. Her fans questions, changing her deity to this mace. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Um, she does the whack, falls asleep briefly, and then it's going to harness divine power to, to regain uh, a spell slot up to level 2. Gotcha. So I'm going to like, regain some slots. And then I will start getting on healing next <laughs> round. Okay. Boom. And... Esmeralda emerges. What is going on on my wagon? <laughs> <laughs> Milady. My cabbages! Um, <gasps> how grievously wounded is the big white one? You can't. Still, like, definitely. Um, it looks okay. I can't really tell. There is a, 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 okay. sp a, sp a spray of blood across its side. I am focused in on him. Um. Uh, sorry, Vance, are you, you going for the werewolf or the direwolf? The one that attacked me, whichever that was. Okay. Thank you. There you go. I'd like to try and curse him, actually. <gasps> That's cool. I may. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, so he'll need to make a wisdom him. 14. <laughs> I'd like to curse him directly if possible. He'll need to make a wisdom 14 save. And if it works, I will tell you what she says. Wisdom. Can I, like, swear in French? Check his. Well, she's not from from the Underdark, but she probably would if she could. Yeah. Only a 12. <sighs> Excellent. So, he is going to be cursed. She will stare at him very intensely. And you can see she's kind of, as she speaks, this sort of reverberations around her voice of like this sort of weird, stunning murmuring. Um, but basically what she's saying is, we let you out in good faith. You have stabbed us in the back. Now may the world. <laughs> so, we don't, to be fair, you don't know it's him. <laughs> Okay, Sorry. I don't, never mind. That's I'm insane. still fist as hell. Who <laughs> knows, that's true. So, yeah, she didn't hear. That's okay, she's still staring at him. She's murmuring in his knee. She's, yeah, and you can see as she's sort of murmuring in her fingers are sort of coming together. You can see these weird sort of glyphs coming off of them and spruiking off kind of in a smoke towards him and enveloping him. Yes. And I'd like him to be vulnerable to piercing damage, if I may. <gasps> yeah! Oh! That's really good. Using That's right really now. good. Makes sense. Anything I else? Want to um, me. I'd like the glyphs to stick to his fur. I'd also like that, please. Oh, sure. <laughs> like, sort of sticky black glyphs, I guess, that <laughs> won't come off if you try and rub them. Alright. Um, and I think that's possibly all I can do, actually, as my action. Okay, look. But she looks pleased with herself. <laughs> I want to clarify which wolf it is. Is it the one in front of me? Big white one. Okay. The, yeah, the, the, pack, the pack leader, yeah. All oh, right. Hey, um, uh, we have we have uh, props for the character art in chat. It was Lady Vanta herself Aww. who did the character art for us, Jolly Girl. She is fabulous. It's yeah, so, so what so she did was she, she stood at the back of the group for a little while, just like in silence, hunched over a parchment and slowly handed the art <laughs> While we're having dinner team. with Brad. <laughs> While we have it, yeah. So beautiful. That's canon. Love it. Thank love you. Love it, love it. If you want a commission, stay tuned. <laughs> Low key plug. If you want to see, <laughs> give it a high key one. Come on, what's what's that? What's that Twitter handle, girl? Oh, it's. Oh. She got all like shy now. Come on. <laughs> it's at Emma City Art on Twitter. That's it. Yes, yes. Um. Also linked in the information on our YouTube VODs, please check it out. Okay, now, moving on. Um, the werewolves turn on you. One of them on you, Lady Venter, and the other on uh, Asara Bell. Now, they unfortunately don't have pack tactics. Sad. Just, they, they, they never went to what school. A shame. <laughs> they didn't go to, like, tactics school, unlike the other one. <laughs> Um, so, give them time of day. it lashes out for you, Lady Vanta, with its claws. <laughs> uh, only a 12, so that misses yes. And then tries to Hell bite. yeah, if it was Lincoln, it would I'm hit. dodge. 16. <gasps> yes! How does the 16 work? Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still doing Vanta. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Okay, so this one just clutches okay. off the armor beneath your robes as it's trying to go for you. And the other one goes for Asara with its bite. 17. It does hit. But... Okay. Can you give me um, a... Um... So, hang on, that just halves the damage, yes? Just halves the damage, yeah. Okay, so that's six piercing, so half to three. And... Like brother, like sister. Constitution saving throw, please. Yuck! Uh -oh. <laughs> 15! Okay, thank you very much. And claws rake across you as well. Uh, 18, that'll hit, right? So that is five slashing damage, Asara. And that is the two werewolves there. And Asara, it is your turn. I am going to. Um, uh, silver dagger. So I'm gonna stab this dude in front of me. Yep. With my dagger. Pop, pop, pop. Whack, whack. So that's gonna be 23 to hit. That'll hit. And 8 damage. Nice. Piercing. Silver. Um. Offhand? And then, no, because I have sneak attack also, and two weapon fighting. So I'm gonna stab him with my other dagger also, unsilver. Um, do you get sneak attack against him? Yes, because I cast. Um, or I didn't cast, but I use steady aim. Gotcha. Thank you. So that's a 17 with my offhand. No, remember, sneak attack is just extra damage. You don't have to roll. I, so I two weapon fighting. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm so also. But you want the second attack. You want the sneak attack to be on the first attack, surely. Because it's silver. Okay. Silver one. more damage. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, if that's what you want to do. And I think it would automatically go to the first one, considering mm. um, that was the one that hit first. Is that, um, is that how it works? Okay. Maybe, just because if they're, if it's surprised, maybe that would make sense, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 12 for the extra. Total of 20 on the first one. And then the second one. Give them a good whack. All right, 24 to hit on my offhand. Okay. And three damage off the dice. So three damage. Yes. Thank and then you. I'm done. Um, oh, and I'm gonna do uh, steady aim again. Yeah, I think um, it says it says once per turn, so I guess you can choose which attack it's on. Sure. Right. I mean, I, I know, like thematically, yeah, the first one would be more surprising. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> but uh, I guess it's like it's like, aha, you can't be. Oh, she has another dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like both. Both sound good, whichever is better. I wasn't watching that hand. <laughs> Misdirection. <laughs> you should you should do theatre. You know, it's like street street magic. Magic. <laughs> um, so yeah. So yeah, you're doing the sneak attack on the on the first attack. Yes. Yeah, so it's twenty. It's twenty on the silver dagger, and then three on the off hand. Thank you. What was the regular damage for the silver dagger before the sneak? What was the sneak attack on its own? The sneak attack was 12. Thank you very much. That was nice. I like numbers. I know. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh, school's back in. Hari Yasumi is over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Yeah, the... I've got a seven class day on Wednesdays now. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> yep. yep. The giant pack leader, White Wolf Alpha, as it's charging past and worrying at Esmeralda's horses, which just ignored him, which he was very annoyed about. And then these arrows struck into his back, and then he was cursed as well. Turns and decides that this rear wagon is far more dangerous, and just in one fluid motion, leaps and spins in the air, and with a mighty crunch, lands on the front of that wagon there 
Okay. No, no! Happy to have to have been no, left alone on this one now. Oops. I will destroy all of you! No pets on the wagon! <laughs> <laughs> um, the curse, Esmeralda, is just the vulnerability? Uh, yes, but he, he'll be stuck with the curse until it's ended with Great Restoration, Remove Curse, or Other Magic. <laughs> so he's stuck with it. <laughs> you, you see, you see, one of the direwolves is wearing a holy symbol that comes over, my brother. <laughs> so, no! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. The You're welcome. Leader. <laughs> ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> He's actually going to shout. We're about um, to lose. He's actually going to shout to the direwolf that's next to you, Asara, beyond Krig there. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to put the voice mod on. I'm sorry, brother. It's for the good of the pack. Oh, wow. <laughs> you definitely did a spit take on Wolf 20. <laughs> and his jaw opens up, and this icy cold breath sprays forth in a cone that gets Esmeralda, Asara, Krig, and the direwolf. Um, where are we at? A chilly. <laughs> it's just a bit chilly. Hey, thank you, Carlingo Nawas. <laughs> Sorry, if I butchered that, I probably did. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Um, now, I need you people that were affected there, so Esmeralda, Krig, and Asara, to make a dexterity saving throw per leads. Hi. Hi hi. That Hello up. me. Sorry, we're in Japan. If we do things like that, that's why they 14. Colby also got a 14. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I forget that some people don't know that. <laughs> got a 15. How many? How many people came across and were just like, wow, they're all weebs here. <laughs> yeah, point, yeah. um, sorry, Esmeralda, what was yours? <laughs> Esmeralda, what was yours, please? Fifteen. Fifteen, thank you. So, all of you pass, annoyingly. Um, the yeah. dire wolf... The dire wolf pass? Uh, bear with me. Oh. No, wolf with you. Die, die, yes. die, die. Also fifteen, so two. <laughs> <laughs> the direwolf also passes. So all of you take... Eight, 13, 19, 20, rounded down oh to God. 10, cold damage. Um, <laughs> now I look like I'm on death row. Can I just no. check, was Vanter exempt from that? Yes. You said cold damage, yeah? I believe okay. so. Let me double check. Uh, huh. Yes. Funny thing Wait. there. So Vanter didn't oh, get involved. Yeah. In the oh, no, you're okay. ring of old resistance. Sweet. Uh, Ooh! Gives you resistance to this damage. Nice. nice. So down to five. Half nice. again. I'm proud of I you. I look very sad and um, for having cold resistance. I'm weak. Craig just kind of like shakes the cold resistance off that. his feathers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Oops. that is the. Only thing? Yes, just as that one that one attack there. And Rictavio just roars in anger. He's like, get back here and fight me! In his werewolf form. <laughs> but is unable to do anything. Um, so, Crick, your turn. Okay. So, um, with him being so close, uh, Craig is going to tuck the, his longbow away and pull out uh, the lost sword um, and um, it is still piercing damage so that's nice uh, so he's gonna just kind of slash at it uh, but first I will use a bonus action to cast Hunter Okay. Let's check so that gives me some extra damage. Jeez, I'm, I'm running out of tokens here. You've already used your favorite weapon. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just a little, little heart mark for your favorite em favorite enemy, because he's your favorite. Ah, uh, no, so, that's cute. Mm. 
I'm glad you guys right. have that special relationship. First attack is a 13. <laughs> Sorry, Patch. A 13? Yeah. Is just, just enough to hit. Ah. Alright. So we've got... So 11 on the sword. Um... And then we've got... Oh. D6. <laughs> so we're going to use the swarm, favored enemy, and Jeez. my hunter. Just roll it, just out. roll it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it's a total of 22. 22. Kind of Sorry, I'm joking, that's awesome. It's, he's, he's vulnerable to the piercing, so... Right. Um, so but this is not a silvered weapon, so... So it just straight. Still good bugs. Blowy, yeah, but so yeah, so twenty-two total. Okay. On first attack. Dear players, let me add one more token here. He looks rough. Rough. Oh. Rough. 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 Okay, that Aha. one's probably not gonna hit. <laughs> uh, same same weapon. It's my second attack, but that's a twelve to hit. Uh, just misses, so, I'm afraid. Yeah, I was gonna say. All right. So, uh, I think that's going to be me for now. Gotcha. Um, for those um, of us that are new, uh, the, thanks to Dredd GM um, today, um, the yellow dot means they are bloodied, so they are down to half of their HP. And when that changes to red, that means they're on their last legs, which means they're a 10 or below. Holy oh, Kenobi, welcome back. Good to see you again. Hello. Um, John, just real quick before I finish my turn. Uh, no, finish it now. Finish it now. <laughs> does handing off an item take an action? Say again, once more, sorry. Does handing over an item take an action? No, interacting with an object is part, is always seen as part of your movement or your action, so one one item is enough. It's okay. Okay, cool. I'm going to give Asara a potion of healing. Yeah. One of the ones that I picked up from the mausoleum. Yeah, um, and... Don't worry, I'm not going to insist that you roll for this, but I do want it to be a cool, like, lob. Like, sorry, heads up! Cool! Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Donk! I'm so just remove that catches it in her teeth and just like, glug, glug, glug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Itadaki mas And Xenicus. What I just do? like how, how competent everyone else in the group was, and then last turn all I did was deal six damage to myself. <laughs> no! <laughs> I but think that was very. Can. You did it confidently. <laughs> yeah, Maxine, yeah. style. Maxine you know? looks looks back over with her mm. mane flowing in the in the wind. She's like, "I believe in you, my friends. You can do it." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Start your dominance. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. He to shoot the same one, and it's instead of seeing that little wolf aside, he sees a big, massive white wolf ass that's on the front of that. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna take aim and try and shoot that thing. Go for it. Shoot yeah. him in the butt. Actually, how? Far, like um, obviously, like how do I know? But is he more than sixty foot or less than sixty foot away? Because as you say, I don't want to measure myself because that changes for um, advantage or disadvantage. No, you, you can. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh... Ooh, he's within sixty feet, which okay. means no disadvantage. Nice. Target. Okay, that is a nineteen. And that hits. Okay. So, I actually get to do stuff, this is going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> but, so what is a crossbow? I never use it. Short crossbow has a d6 plus 5 plus my lightning damage, which is another d6. So, that is 4 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, which is reduced, yeah? Oh, uh, it's vulnerable, nope. But it's vulnerable. Yep. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. And that is six lightning damage. Okay. And... I will... I've never used this before. Brand it. As my arrow hits into it, it sears the lightning Ooh. click arrows oh, out damn. of the arrow. That's cool. And, like, creates a, uh, a brand on the creature. Okay. So, um... What does it look like? <laughs> Zenikus was here. Was <laughs> <laughs> spelled W O Z. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think about it. No, no. <laughs> I'll think about it before my next turn. Uh, <laughs> so 
I always know where the direction of the branded creature, <laughs> and every time the branded creature deals damage to me or a creature within five feet of me, so that's not effective. It will suffer psychic damage, but that part is oh. not. I'm too far away it's for really that cool. part. So the total damage this time no. was. It was ten. Thank you. But I will always know the direction of that creature. All right. And until Let I decide not. To. Immediately dive in here and switch this to a little red dot. Ooh. Shout outs to Cobalt Press. Sorry. Yay! <laughs> the Twitch, the Twitch manager is called Little Red Dot. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. So thank you very much. And the Dire Wolves will uh, leap up and try run and away. bite into. No, no, they're not going to do that. They're going to um, run away. One's going for oh. you, a Lady Vanter. If we run, no, it's of away. course. Chomp. Ouch. Only a 13. No. Ah, the armor hiding away behind that, those robes. And the ah. other one is going for Asara. Yep. I have a question. This healing potion is an action, right? So I would have yes. to wait till my... Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Um, only a 12, though. Can I dodge? Only a 12. To hit. Okay, yeah, so I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, There's yeah, just so much stuff in the wagon walking, like very hard <laughs> to actually hit anything. <laughs> nimbly duck out of the way. This nimble. one's still, this one's this one's still half frozen. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's like its face is covered in frost. <laughs> okay, Lady Vanta Black Spire. It's my turn. I'm going to. <gasps> oh, sorry. One more thing. I think I might as... skip my turn. Two oh. seconds. Two seconds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, as um. Xenicus, as you fired that out and that lightning went flashing down there and crashed into the beast and did that extra damage there, and branded it with this, um, you know, this this crossbow quarry, coral, sorry. Um, Iamaris turns to you and he's like, that's more like it, boy, gotta make him pay. And then his eyes kind of go wide. He's like, what in God's names is that? And he oh, looks... No. And as you're barreling down this wooded road, this whole time you're still streaming through. Sorry, I couldn't find a decent gift like I could for uh, Avernus. But you're just going through, you know, streaming through these trees, just going as the woods are flashing by. But the wood ahead, off to the right side, the mist is heavier there, and it's glowing this strange green color off in the trees. And it kind of like silhouettes a few of the trunks. The horses are green, so green equals good, so we're fine. Excellent. Problem solved. Yeah, Perfect. great. Good <laughs> math. The of nature and life. Yeah. <laughs> Probably fine. Yeah. I agree. The Thanes have come to save us, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now, Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, now, Lady Vanta, it's your turn. Um, like I said before, I'm going to skip my turn, but I just don't think Vanta needs to do anything. What? Yeah. I'm kidding! Yeah. I'm a heal everyone! <laughs> she's, she's waiting to not revive you. Yeah. Um so the Flashback. healing will commence. Now looking around at my friends, um I am going to um use a spell called um Aura of Vitality. Now, if I look on my... Everybody was in, is within 30 feet of me except for Xenicus. Yikes. I'm sorry, dude. Um, healing energy radiates from you in an aura with 30 foot radius. Until the spell ends, the aura moves with you and is centered on you. I can use a bonus action to cause one creature in the aura, including myself, to regain 2d6 hit points. And so that will be sustained for 10 rounds. Um, because it's minimal. So, I would like to cast it, and that's my last third level spell. Um, and I will use my bonus action. Don't know where that accent came from. That to, um, for sure. If, I don't know. Don't let my partner hear this bit of the recording. <laughs> they are Australian. And um, I will give 2d6 hit points to Sarah, because she looks like she's gonna die. <laughs> Thanks. Oopsie. You're welcome. Seven. 
You get seven HP back, and so do I. Nice jump. Oh wait, no, I don't. Just, just, um, just. Thank you. You're welcome. And I, I can just like pass this around. So if you guys get, feel like you're gonna go down, I can just, just let me know. I can help you out. I feel like your spell like... works. I've been wanting to use this spell in another game for ages, and just haven't the chance to. So this is really cool. Hey. Yay! We can make these dreams come true here. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any bonus actions, so I think. Okay. Um, especially none that can um, be done. So. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for me. Now, as um, your turn ends there, and the wagons are continuing to just crash through the forests of Barovia here. Um, you see, um, Zenicus, having been, your attention being drawn to it, that green mist comes flowing around the trees and moves very purposefully to intercept the path of the wagons. And as it comes out of the trees and as it comes out of the natural mist, you start to see forms in the green mist, snarling teeth and jaws gnashing towards you as a swarm of wolf spirits charges your wagon hello Zenek is definitely swearing and shouting right now <laughs> ah, fuck, fuck, oh fuck, God. Fuck. waving waving his crossbow at them trying to get trying to dissipate the mist look at his slow aerosol sprays <laughs> <laughs> so yes this hang on i thought i got rid of this text i had to go away when i say that i mean go down there and here we go everybody this is what we see coming, boiling out of the trees towards the lead wagon. Come on, roll 20, you can do it. <laughs> Ew, that looks like a poltergeist, yeah. like a monster from the movie Poltergeist, somehow. <laughs> okay, so it's yes. really cool looking. It's green! Don't want to like it, but I really do. I want the spell to cast that as like a, an ability at one point. <laughs> okay. I so do it's... love ghostly green wolves. A pack of ghostly wolves appears in a swirl of greenish fog, seeming to coalesce from the fog itself out of the trees. That's cute. And comes flying towards you. And... They count as an animal, she asks hypothetically. Mm, Ex-animal. <laughs> Maybe once. And the wolf spirits charge at you, and they use their icy doom. I need a constitution saving throw, please, Zenicus. And I shall do the same for Rictavio, by which I mean Amars. Leviosa. <laughs> I think I'm fine. That's a 21. Nice. Where did I put his stat mark? I think he gets a little plus. Back. We'd be curious if that didn't pass. Hiding. Huh? Constitution saving throw. Me. Um, no, only a nine. <laughs> oh no! You're so charming. <laughs> okay, so, as this wolf swarm just comes just boiling up out of the trees and surrounds the two of you in this just this mist of snarling um, ethereal shapes you feel just your your very souls chilled as this undead energy um comes um swinging by a fry dice thank you just for that raid welcome on by we are in the midst of a dash through the barovian woods fighting a pack of dire wolves werewolves and other scary beasts good to see you good to see you and as um, this green mist surrounds you, you feel it chill you to your very core, and you take... I can just click this, can't I? Yes. Oh, no, it doesn't... It just gives it an explanation. It doesn't give you the actual damage. Okay, one, two, three, four, d10. That is 18, 19. 24 damage reduced to 12 for you. That's, that's, that's a lot of damage. And <laughs> Imaris nice also one. gains a level of exhaustion and is frightened. Oh my oh no. god. <laughs> Yikes. Oh no. He's a very tired boy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Imagine if we, we went through all that to get him and he'd be tired. 
Thanks for the follow. Okay, okay well, so he is well. scared, scared, Yay. scared, and um, he is affected by this terrible creature, this visage. Um, remind me, um, the first level of exhaustion is advantage on ability checks. This right? Is, yeah. Only ability checks, isn't it? Yeah. No. No. Um, I think so. I'll double check. Thank you very much. It's, it's right on your sheet there. If you go into the oh, yeah, um, effects and things. Um, okay. And Lady mm -hmm. Esmeralda. So I actually have a question for you as the DM. Yes. I haven't had a chance to finish my D&D Beyond page yet. Mm -hmm. So I have the other one that I've been using temporarily that has the, the multi-tap and everything. Can I still use that one or do you prefer I use the the one from today? Sure, it's fine. Which one? Uh, you, <laughs> the, the one from before? Yeah, you, you can use the D&D one. They uh, the, uh, uh, roll 21, it's okay. okay. Yeah. It's um, only ability checks. Okay, so I'm going to go for the big red one. Big red one. Um, yeah. I am single-minded in my attempt to destroy him. Um, so I would like to try first attacking with my rapier. Indeed. <laughs> I am single-minded in my attempt yeah. to destroy him. <laughs> it just yes. came out so, quick, <laughs> so easily for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is very natural. Oh, why isn't it coming up? I... Um, well, I can just roll it on here anyway. It's a plus eight to hit. So. Yes, Fenris, I do sleep. <laughs> that's not one. Okay. Not hitting anything with that. Oh, it, it's okay. I can make another one. Ducks out of the way. <laughs> make another one. Isn't that twenty hit? Oh god, damn it! That yes. actually just happened. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that one followed by that twenty. Lovely. Yay! <laughs> hey. Okay. Get a lion. Roar. I mean, I guess. Do I need to? I guess I need to do roll damage. Um, that's 1d8 plus 5. Yeah, double the dice, please. As in, double the number of dice rolls. 2d8 plus 10. So that's going to be 18. Okay. It's also an 8 and a 1. <laughs> Esmeralda de Venera. Tell me. What <gasps> happens? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> She, you can tell she, as she's watching, as you're watching her do this, you can tell she is just in her element. Like, she is focused. There's nothing else in the world but her and this giant wolf. I'm glad Zenicus isn't here to see us because he might be a little freaked out by it. But she is just like <laughs> dodging all, like, he's trying to sort of pod her, I guess, and she's just nodding all the way and just sort of doing this sort of Matrix style thing. Yeah. And, and uh, just as he's kind of going back to try and slide her, she's probably going to smoothly go in and just slide the rapier into his chest very gently. Oh! Into the heart. Like, it slides <laughs> right it's in. Perfectly placed. It slides but right in. It's perfectly placed. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's like she studied the, anatomy surgically. As this pack leader precise. just goes to open its mouth, and you see that whirl of icy um, damage start to you know build up in its more once more. Um, as it rises up, its chest swells with the breath to exhale this cone of cold over you all, and you just very smoothly and efficiently. And its mouth closes, and it rolls, and with a thud, it goes off and a splash into the muddy water at the side of the wagon, and quickly disappears behind you. No Ooh, pets sorry. on the wagon! <laughs> <laughs> kind of throw it up a little bit in scorn. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Wipe her very, very smoothly. Okay. Professionally. <laughs> this is what she does. <laughs> Noted. Okay, the werewolves are going for those two, those as before. Um, first one goes with its bite on you, Lady Vanta. Uh, only a six. And the no. Uh, no. Fourteen. No. Nope. Okay, and on Asara, oh. the bite. Uncanny dodge. Natural one. Wait, wait till I hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just, you just, you just, is there something that has to be called before damage? Um, it be called after damage. And yeah, yeah. Before I say what the damage is, yeah. But I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm not that fast in my old age. Okay. <laughs> I'm fearful. I'm like, just so you know. And close. <laughs> Twenty-three. That I hits. <laughs> okay. So that is seven slashing reduced to three. Okay. As they attack. And that's them two. And Asara Bell, it's your turn. I'm gonna drink this potion. Look, 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 look. It's 2d4 plus yeah. two. Where's Dred's? Let me get Dred's potion for you. 
Drink, drink, drink. Every little helps. <laughs> okay, so you drink that down. Any bonus actions? Um, if I have two weapon fighting, can I still use my offhand? No, you have to do the first attack. Okay. Um, then I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'm just going to do steady. I'm yeah. going to do steady aim again, so that way I still have my sneak attack on the next attack mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. end. Noted. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you have to take the attack action to use it. All right, thank you very much. And it is Amaris's turn. He is frightened. So that means he can't move closer, but he is already close enough to attack. So he doesn't uh. need to move closer. <laughs> He's just like... Yeah, really <laughs> yeah right. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Um, but he has, yeah, disadvantage. <laughs> he's got disadvantage on ability checks on this as well, so he's exhausted and scared, so like, all of the, all the disadvantage. <laughs> and, um, he can't move no. closer, but he can attack normally. So, he is going to lash out with his claws. Uh... He does a little flail. <laughs> he tries his yes. best. <laughs> okay. Sorry, everybody. My computer is doing its little bestest. I gotta stop leaning down to look at my screen because it's supposed to be right behind my icon. Or. Or. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, the icon. Or. Put the icon up here in the corner, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you are the icon. Hashtag be your own icon. Hashtag iconic. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hashtag. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped because I cannot finish it. <laughs> okay. He is going to lash out towards that swarm, hoping to do some damage to it. As we Ooh. attack, uh, 17 and also a 19, so that's pretty good. 17, 19, 17, 19. Sorry, chat, you're in the wrong place. Over here is what we're at. And they both hit. Now, how are we doing for damage here? This could be quite tricksy as far as resistances goes. Um, yes, okay, unfortunately it has some uh, resistance there, but that is... Da -da -da -da. Okay, so he bites and slashes angrily at the cloud of ghostly spirits that is wailing and howling and writhing around you both. And Krik, it's your turn. Very good, okay. Sure. So now that the big guy is gone, we've got some space. Yep. Um, I think that uh, Craig is going to switch back to the longbow, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to focus on this big wolfy fellow over to the right side of the cart. Now, you are next to that dire wolf. No, I know, not literally, but like space-wise, so uh -huh. that would give you disadvantage. Still disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Unless you move um, away, but then there'd be an, op an opportunity attack. Right, exactly. Um, okay, then uh, we'll we'll just keep the lost sword out and we'll take a few swings at this guy over okay. here. Go for it. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a bonus action to move my hunter's mark. Yep. Um, so that's going to be on this guy here. On the die wolf. Yes, first attack is a 13. That misses, I'm afraid. Just. Uh, I figured. No. Um, I figured the white guy was bigger, so he might have had a lower AC, but. Alright, second attack is. 
26. That hits, I suppose. <laughs> okay. So this is not Yay. a silver weapon. Um, and this is not a werewolf, uh, so you're okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, okay. That was a one on the dice. I'm going to use my piercer to re-roll that. Okay, so that's 11. Plus... Uh, I don't have favored enemy, so just the Gathered Swarm and Hunter's Mark. So 11 plus 8, 19 hey, definitely. damage. 19? Nice. Yes. All right. You oh, have me. knocked it with that one vicious swipe with your little bugs onto its last legs. You little bugs. <laughs> little bugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. And else, sir. Nope, that's me. Okay, so Nick Guahin. Yes, so I am kind of almost surrounded by spooky green wolves. Yes. Um, spooky like, wolves. Not really knowing what's going on, he's just going to like try and fire the crossbow bolt through it. And just like, ah! This is spooky. Except Eddie. So. You're gonna fire um, with the crossbow bolt? Yeah. Disadvantage? Yeah, but, yeah, but if I switch weapon, I'll lose the effect of my lightning. Gotcha, so. gotcha. So I'm gonna have to take that risk for now. No. Disadvantage? Problem. Worth it. it could be worse. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a 13? Ah, uh, misses, I'm afraid. Ah. Just a swirling mass of creatures. And the lightning streaks off into the sky, which is joined by other lightning bolts. And a happy little family. <laughs> Spider Thor! Grandmama! Double something. Grandmama. <laughs> yes. It's cool. me. So... He's just floating from the clouds. <laughs> no. finger. I had been forget that this also works on ranged attacks. I do actually get two attacks. Ah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I completely missed it my last two turns, but I actually have been able to do two attacks. Oh, because <laughs> because I'm used to doing it with my melee weapons, I forgot that it would also happen on a ranged weapon. No reason. So, ah, uh, that is fourteen. Sorry, not enough. Ah! <laughs> disadvantage. So yeah. Okay. Disadvantage. Sorry about that. Okay, now we good. Yeah, that's me. Okay, done. the dire wolf. Singular. Where is he? There he is. Has decided to skip its turn. That's very gracious. Die, servant of the Raven wow. Queen. That was a good joke. <laughs> Just we're the loyal to the fallen pack leader. We need to go back and no give him proper burial bits. 24, mm -hmm. Lady Vanta. So, that is Ouch. nine piercing damage. And Ouch. roll me that strength saving throw, please. Seven, nine. Eight. Okay. Can't do math. So it jumps up and just chomps eight. into your arm. And as it falls back down, it pulls you with it. You are painfully pulled onto the roof of the dragon and fall prone. So you're knocked out prone there. Knocked out, sorry. Not knocked do out. Do I have to do a deck save? Or is... um, yes, please. Oh, wait, no. I've... 14 plus okay. 1. No problem, no. You're okay. So, you managed to keep a hold Yay. of the bumpy ride. That, you know, this whole roof has been jostled <laughs> around. But you don't manage, you don't roll off, which is good. And, um, Asara, the other one's going for you. 24. I can dodge. <laughs> Just yes. ready for this a moment. mere 9 piercing, <laughs> reduced to 4. Yay. All right, thank you. That's the two direwolves. And it is Lady Vanta Blackspire's turn. I'm going to do some major healing. First of all, I like to look around me at my friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where are those red dots at? Hey, Patch, um, if, Patch, if you're there, you might want to get things rolling. Oh, God, I wish you weren't so far away, Xenicus. Corvin and Esmeralda, Corvin. how are you guys looking? That's magic. All the way I'm to Corvin. Health. Corvin. Third health. Far, far away. Corvin is far away. Craig's okay. He's... Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're both birds. Craig! 
Understandable. Very unique <laughs> character. Oh, um, like, they're reason. both birds. <laughs> they're, right. Oh my god. So they're both birds, oh. and uh, oh. I just feathers, can't feathers, feathers. <laughs> get my head around that, guys. So, <laughs> right. Anyway, um, yeah. No, Ho Krieg is getting nothing. Esmeralda, I'm gonna give you two d six of healing. Hi. Thank you. You get seven. And then Hi. Asara Bell. Yes, We're gonna get something a little bit beefier, I think. <gasps> um, and then I'm gonna give you a cure wounds. A little ribbon on top. Cure wounds. As my action. Sweet lady. Wafting Five. Um, sorry, it's only nine back. Nine. Okay, that is that is the way it goes. It indeed. Okay, that's it for me. Alrighty. Oh, I'll stand up. Boom. Hit a branch and fall back down. <laughs> bah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it is okay. Um. All right. So. You, um, managed to, yes, clamber back up to your feet, having healed your friends. And that brings us to the end of the ra- Oh, no. Not quite. Mm -hmm. As yeah. Zenicus yeah. and Rictavio yeah. are Fine. surrounded Fine. by Fine. the scary beastie. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see if I get a recharge of oh, my no. nice icy doom. That's a happy, friendly <laughs> chuckle. Yes, it recharges. So, I need another constitution saving throw, please. Sorry. Uh, uh, Zenicus, are you still affected by action from evil and good? Uh, how long does that last? I'm just checking. It lasts what 10 it? minutes? Then no. Because yeah, the, okay. that does like last 10 minutes and that's gone, so. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, the, the con was a 19. Okay, that passes. So you and uh, Maris take half of. Uh, half of uh, 23, so down to 11 cold damage. And you are not scared or exhausted. Yay. Huzzah! Huzzah! All right. So once more, this boiling cloud of these ethereal, ghostly green wolves just swirls around you, howling and snarling and ripping at you, and you feel your very soul, your very essence, being almost dragged away as these beasts with their icy doom swarm about you. Big shout out to Culpa Press and their lovely, lovely monsters. And <laughs> so, icy doom. That that takes us to the end of the round, dear players. And I think it is getting on a bit, and we're just just shy of our usual finishing time. We shall call it an evening there, and we shall finish off this dash through the woods next time. If my computer will just move so I can chill out the music a bit. That'll be awesome. Now. Do this. Okay. R R R G two. Okay. <laughs> hey, everyone! Thank you very much. So, let me say. Sorry, but music is still <laughs> not refusing to chill out. So I'm going to be. Stuck with this for a moment here. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly extra. Um, so, everyone, yeah. let me say a massive, massive thank you. A huge. Yes, we are in Japan, Penrith. Um, let me say a massive like thank you to Dreaded GM um, and all of you that came a raiding with him. Everyone else that joined us for tonight. All of those follows. So many follows. Thank you so much. Um, always lovely to meet new people and have you along with us on our adventures. If you want more adventures to be had, we will be back 
tomorrow on our time and your time as we head back down to the Nine Hells to continue our descent into Avernus. What is next for the band of heroes as they stealthily crept up into Arkan the Terribles? Arkan the Terribles? That sounds wrong. Arkan Something the like Cruel. That. There we go. Arkan the Cruel's tower. Will they be able to slip past Joe Manganello and steal what they want? Or will he find them <laughs> <Like> out? <that. laughs> and we shall see what happens tomorrow. Do join us. Then on Saturday, um, 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 um. on Saturday, sorry, Wilbo, if you're watching, stealing your thing. Um, if you are with us um, and sticking around and wanting something to watch, we are not playing on Saturday, but our good friends over at Carney Sideshow will be continuing their campaign, a modern day D&D um, in Baldur's Gate and all of your regular familiar spots, but uh, in the future. So do check that out. It's a really interesting stream. Then uh, next week, after a week off this week for my son's entrance ceremony into junior high school, we will be going back to Icewind Dale and continuing our Ram Against the Frostmaiden campaign. They defeated the Shardolin Dragon. They saved ten towns from the mid-game boss. What is next? How will they prepare themselves to do battle with Aurel the Frostmaiden herself? Then next thursday or wednesday evening in the north americans um in the place we will be back in the underdark for our out of the abyss campaign we had an awesome awesome session today with our new players just having her second session today do join us if you get the chance and then in the evening for us morning for north america we will be back here Charging through the Svalich woods of Barovia, ready to defeat the final foes that lie in our way and make our way to safety? A very restful Question seat. mark? And let me leave you with two last things as next week we have all of those wonderful sessions, but please mark down in your diaries on Saturday, the 17th of April, we have a very, very special one shots which is going to be our favorite streamers all of my buddies the aforementioned carney sideshow orangey down in brunei and all the way over in the uk quest junkies uk patch and uh, alicia thank you for coming with us today and being here and we will be doing a very special humblewood one shot so please That's get so cool. ready for all of that goodness and then, in May, we are teaming up with the Games Tavern for a wonderful, wonderful charity event in the um, all in the good cause of No Kid Hungry as we take part in their weekend-long, several days-long um, charity event. So definitely keep an eye on the social medias. Um, Twitter is the place to be where I post all my stuff. And there is a link on the main channel page. Do check that out. And as we wrap up there, oof, with all that stuff going on, we are going to go raiding, so <laughs> let's let those Big phoenixes topic. fly and spread all the love, and you know where we're headed. It is the season <laughs> one finale of Quest Junkies UK, their homebrew world and campaign. Um, it is a pre-recorded session, but they are there in chat, waiting to share all of the uh, highs and lows and all the excitement. So we will be heading on over to Quest Junkies UK, our good friends. Stick around for that. And we hope you enjoy their streams as much as we do. And finally, Sirenscape is here and can chill. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Barney started working again, <laughs> just as we're all done. So, yay! in silence, in relative calm, I shall see all of you next time. And please stick around for our raid of Quest Junkies, which I need to type. In the little box. Wait. Gosh. Wait. <laughs> do, 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 Well, just before we do your, your fancy, Stay fancy out. intro music, I think we need to say goodnight to all of these fine people and let them watch that rather splendid Quest Junkies intro, outro, yeah. video, outro. one more time. Video. As we like to say around these parts, we assume it's like.
Stick around for the raid. I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.